So my name is Juan Botella. I grew up in Mexico, in Mexico City, where I spent all my childhood. Um, I'm at Monona Grove High School. Right now I'm teaching physics, AP physics, climate and weather and astronomy. I went to McMurdo Station in Antarctica. We spent a week there and then we took an oceanographic cruise and we spent 68 days in the boat sailing around Antarctica and studying the properties of seawater around Antarctica. The scientists compared those properties to similar cruises that had been done 10 years before and they learned how the seawater is changing around Antarctica. My role in the boat was to do outreach. It was great because I had these scientists confined to the boat and I could just interview them, ask them questions all day. I took a bunch of pictures, uh, videos, and I was blogging while I was at sea and communicating with people back and forth here in the United States and elsewhere. So I was learning about the science that was being done and communicating it to the general population in a way that everybody would understand. I think the biggest surprise was to see how science is not like in the classroom where everything is canned and clean and you just set up an experiment that you know what the outcome is going to be and then the students see what is going to happen. Uh, for those days at sea and in the field, what was striking is to see how many things can actually go wrong and how much problem solving has to happen every day and every moment to make sure that the data is the best that they can gather. They only have one shot and one spot and they had been planning for 10 years for this cruise and all of a sudden see them like, oh, this is not working. How can we just problem solve in a moment to get the best thing? So I came back and I created lesson plans in which my students learned current science at sea. Uh, but I went beyond just having lesson plans and being able to talk about um, science, how science is done in the field. I engaged students here at the high school and they did art around what I had done out there in the field. And we had an art exhibit at the art center that is here in Madison. And we proposed to have pictures from the expedition and paintings, and they had oils, they had pastels, they had pencil, they had ink. Um, and all around, every piece was wrapped around a piece of science. So I was very excited to see my students internalizing what I had done over there, creating art, and then setting up this art exhibit where people for four months were able to see what we had done and learn about science like that. I think that the benefit of working with active scientists and ongoing science is that I can come back to the classroom and share with the students what I'm learning in a way that shows that, as you said, science is active. As opposed to the way I learned it, that science is something that happened a while ago that we have figured out and all you have to do is memorize facts. Uh, science for me is, is not the facts, but is the process of thinking about a problem and solving it. And I think with current science, we can show students that path. Uh, what amazes me is to see that young kids have this innate curiosity on themselves and they're very good scientists. So when I see a six, seven year old, even younger, they're asking constantly about what is going around them. And they're, they're making sense of the world and they come with crazy ideas. Uh, and then we just need to nudge them a little bit and say, okay, you have that idea, how could you test it? And if, after you test it, what did you learn? How, what do you think about this? I don't know when uh, our kids lose this curiosity. Sometimes when they arrive to high school, they think that they know the world, you know, they're done with doing that. So I think we need to encourage them as they grow up. And what I try to convince my students is that those people who are doing science, they are very bright and they have great ideas, but they were not born like that. They had to train their brain to think in a certain way the same way that our students can train their brain to think in, in the same way. And I've heard from students who were in middle school when I was doing this, that now are in the high school, saying that I remember when you came to our middle school. I remember when I saw you give this presentation and that got me hooked in, in science. And the students that were here in the high school, they've now, some of them have gone to college and I've heard back from them saying, yes, that experience helped me to navigate what, what, how I do college. In terms of how I teach uh, science, it definitely changed a lot. I think of the way I was taught uh, science and the way I was teaching before, it was a lot from kind of the textbook as if everything has been discovered. And being out there in the field uh, helped me realize that science is kind of messy, that you really have to be working around challenges and that what you set up as a linear path, I'm gonna go from here to there, 
it's not the case. And, and I, now I'm transmitting that to the students and, and saying, you know, what the books say is things that have already happened, but there's so many more things that we need to discover.